I thought I was like, oh, Wallace is so short. I was like, yeah, yeah, what the f***? What am I supposed to do? The 2022 Europe Strongest Man is coming to Leeds, England, as it has been for the last few years. We have the 12 athletes. We have the five events that are going to be competing in. We have the weights. And the most important thing we have... Alala's brother. Alala's brother. Yep. So, as you all know, if you have been keeping up to date on the Giant Slave Instagram page, or even on Marius's Instagram yeah. page, that Marius has been, what would you say, picked... He has been... Picked, pretty much picked, yeah. Yeah, so Marius <clears throat> picked to compete at Europe's Strongest Man 2022, mm -hmm. like he did last September at Europe's Strongest Man 2021. So it'll be the second year in a row that Marius will be competing. Hopefully he can build on what he did last year. We have the returning champion for Europe's Strongest yeah. Man 2021 returning this year in Luke Stoughton. Mm -hmm. uh, His brother is getting ready for the world, so he's not man. competing. No. So World's Strongest Man is what, six weeks after I think you're uh -huh. Strongest Man, something yeah. like that? It's in Sacramento, isn't it? Sacramento, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it back in America as well, did it be the fourth year in America, is it? Yeah, in California. California, it? Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. held in Florida yeah. for two years before that, wasn't That's it? That's right, in yeah. Florida, yeah. yeah Florida. <laughs> so for this year's Europe's Strongest Man, we have some returning, uh, some returning athletes from last year, but we also yeah. have some new faces for this year. Yeah. So why don't you go through the 12 athletes? <clears throat> yeah. Calvin De Ruiter. Yeah. I know him. <clears throat> I competed against him in a truck ball competition. I can't remember exactly what country, but it's middle. Uh, what country was it? But he did really well. Brian Shaw was competing, and he comp he won that whole competition. Oh wow! He's he's tall guy. Is um, lots of tattoos. Lots of tattoos. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> he's, he's he's a decent strong man. Like especially, he surprised everyone because he managed to beat like Brian Shaw in a truck ball and. Yeah all the uh, big names so that's how i know him uh, after that i don't know his uh, achievements that much i think he competed in some other federations yeah. and he was doing okay then we have alexei novikov he was a runner up runner up last yeah. year farmer world strongest yeah man. so he's 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 coming back yeah. he'll try to probably win this the whole thing yeah he's uh, probably a heavy yeah. favorite at this day that's a yeah and uh, then we have shane flowers yeah which fairly new to the strong very yeah. new but he's he's progressing pretty rapidly did very well in britain yeah he did uh, and now based on his training sessions he's looking even stronger than he was in britain yeah which is uh which is very good to see yeah which is very good to see yeah now the icelandic guy you go Ethar ingelson melstead very good yeah. impressive very yeah. good <laughs> yeah so he was a former world strongest man competitor, competitor yeah. yeah he could be at what 2021 last year last year yeah, yeah. last year he competed yeah. strong dude uh, we'll see how he will do now in europe's mm -hmm. and then what, what else do we, we have pat yes pat so pat dwyer yeah <laughs> so the limerick line yes the Five limerick line yeah. the strongest man runner up in britain strong yeah. yeah won a very good show britain strongest yeah man. Very, very good, good show. show yeah uh, tom just dominated the competition yeah. but all in all pat did pretty well and to finish Second Britain is pretty uh, after the world's strongest yeah, man. It's pretty very, big, very good showing. Yeah. So uh, the next athlete is Rauno Heinla, who is a, a great deadlifter. Estonian. Estonian guy, yeah, and uh, he's in the sport for a long time as well. He's uh, known for having probably his strongest event is, is deadlift. Mainly, that's why it's kind of yeah. even his, his Instagram. Anything that is to do with any video of Rauno is to do mm -hmm. with deadlifting. So the next athlete, is Konstantin Janasia. Georgian Bull, yeah. as he's known. Yeah. He's not con competing as much nowadays no. as before, especially after the tricep surgery. I, I don't know how is it is it fully recovered, but seems like on based on his Instagram uh, posts, his log is back to like being over 200 again, which is uh, very promising, you know, and uh, the last year he, he like he didn't do that well. Yeah. You know? But we'll see, maybe this year he's, he's more prepared to do uh, even bigger damage, you know. Uh, the next athlete we have is Ivor Schmaustelis. He's, a, he's a, always a, a dangerous... Uh, Try, uh, tried and tested strongman. Yeah, instead. yeah, yeah. He always, like, he seems like he, he loves the Middle East. He performed pretty well in yeah. Bus, took third place. Um, so, uh, very good athlete. Uh, and he seems like every year as well, he's... Uh, Progressing progressing and getting better and better you can't know? ask for any more than that yeah then uh, <coughs> the following athlete is Pavlo Kordiaka 
I don't know to be honest. I don't know much about him. I know he he won the amateurs. Yeah, Arnold uh, Classic amateurs. So yeah, Pablo, tall guy, tall, official strongman games winner. Mm. So the lineup is pretty good, and uh, then we have one of the Stallman brothers, the champ, coming back trying to defend his title. Luke Stallman. Luke, yeah. The, what was it? The Highland Oak? Is that what yeah, <laughs> yeah. So he did very well uh, in um, in the log and the Arnolds. Yeah, in general, he finished joint oh, third sorry, place. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he split the points with Bobby Thompson. Yeah. And Who also uh, won a very good show as well. Uh, yeah, and I think if if he would have um, performed or a little bit better in squat, he would have finished probably just yeah. solidly third place. You know. He's so I, I like he is he seems like he's in good shape and yeah. he will be rested for the Europe so he's he's gonna be one of the favorites to win this uh, event for sure. Hopefully this year will be the same as I was last year for Luke and Tom. Yeah. And they had a great year last year. I think yeah. twenty twenty one is the year that a lot of people will want to forget, but I think it's the year mm-hmm. that they want to remember. No, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's they're gonna remember for the rest of their lives, you know, because they pretty much two brothers won mm. uh, a lot of major uh, like to win the world's strongest man, one brother and then the other one to win the Europe's is pretty like unprecedented, you know. Crazy. So the next athlete on the list then we have is Gavin Bilton, the Welshman. Uh was at Europe's strongest man last year. Yeah. Hopefully he can do better than what he did last yeah, year. Last year was a bit scary. Last year was a bit scary, yeah. having to fall on the car yeah. walk. Uh, well, we all know that Gavin. He's he's still <laughs> he's still uh, wanting to compete anyway. So yeah, hopefully he, it wasn't as bad as what people are. Re- regardless, like he, he, if he comes in a little bit lighter, he's still a big guy. Like you know, yeah. six so, foot six. What was he? Two hundred kg. Yeah, yeah, big yeah. Guy. So even if he will be now around one eighty, still a still big heavy. guy. Yeah. yeah. So and the, the events maybe like for these for the, for this uh, Europe's strongest man, especially for these events, maybe it's it's a good idea to come in a bit lighter. You know? Yeah, yeah. So and and the final the <laughs> final athlete on the list <laughs> the last on the list is Marius Lalas yeah. so like we were saying at the start of the video uh, Marius is competing for the second year in a row in Europe's yeah. Strongest Man uh, it's, it's hard to know we'll see we'll see how he gets on we'll see how he gets <laughs> on like uh, I think like he had a couple of hiccups in the prep but like that's just normal I think loads of athletes yeah uh, having that like uh, and uh, after, after the off season that was kind of yeah hard, yeah. yeah but all in all uh, I'm, I'm glad that he's back competing and especially at uh, pretty much at the highest level you know and this time he had uh, more than five days notice more than five yeah <laughs> <laughs> to get ready for the for the competition hopefully that's gonna play out in his advantage yeah. like from talking to him and training with him he seems like he's 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 feeling okay relatively fresh you know so and uh, at the end of the day it's all on a day yeah. hopefully he'll he'll be able to do a uh, really well yeah so those are the 12 athletes yes. that we have for this year's Europe strongest man we have five events yeah and we have two guest athletes for yeah. the very first event for the log yeah and the first event is max log lift mm-hmm. so as well as having the 12 competing athletes that we have for all the events we have two special guests that is iron bb and Bobby Thompson. Yeah. Well, th- that's. We'll see how good is Iron BB now. Yeah. Like, will he be able to break his his own world record? Oh, I guess that's going to be tough. Right? If if he can, that is amazing. I, I didn't see much of his footage of his training footage. No, compared to what last year. Yeah, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think at at any day he can probably do. 215 to 20 log with no problem that, that's crazy you know, that's yeah. crazy to even think it is yeah, 15 to yeah. 220 so probably you can wake him up in the middle of the night and he'll do 200 for a couple of reps no problem, <laughs> you know? what was so. and bobby thompson obviously bobby thompson, bobby thompson will probably i can't see him tr- getting the, um, the record the record but i think he can break the american record yeah he was 217 217 so he'll probably go for 218 because he tried to do 218 in Arnold Classic, didn't he? Yeah, it was 217 or 218. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he it. just, he, he, he wasn't there, you know. No. So it was, it was close. It was close. Yeah, it was no, close. yeah, it was close. Like, but uh, for him, that's I think that's his goal, yeah. and uh, to get try to get the American record uh, that he owns. Yeah. You know, and uh, Iron BB just wants to probably win just ch- championship itself. You yeah, know? yeah. Like, can he break the the record? It, it all depends, you know. Again, but uh, 
I, I, I can't say that because I haven't seen his training footage yeah, at all. Yeah. So it's very hard to to say whatever he can or can't, you know. Yeah. But with him, just never know. Maybe now that he owns the record, it's not going to be like that much pressure on himself. Mm. Uh, on on and um, he may be able to get it to two two thirty. I think that yeah. magic number. If he can get to two thirty, that is yeah, a crazy that's, number. That's a that's crazy so number, that's yeah. a crazy amount of weight to put on your shoulders yeah. when you think of it. It's insane. Yeah. So we'll see. He looks big. Yeah, I think he, the starting weight for the log is 170, 170 kilos. I think is the starting weight. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think they learned from last year something like that. Like last year, the whatever was, was the slick, issue, but like very slick yeah, log. but like a lot of guys failed 180. Yeah, so. Adam Bishop had the, the slight fall. You remember when he? Uh, That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's That's crazy. Right, yeah. Hopefully, and, hopefully, he and he, he's he's not competing this year no, either. He's not, like no. he's getting ready for the for the worlds. Yeah, and it seems like his his goal is as well later on in the year. Like he really wants to give it a go and get that five hundred and two kg deadlift, from what I understand. So oh. that's his priority. He is a strong probably. deadlifter. He is a very good sure. deadlifter. Yeah, his form is pretty like good. Like you know, so yeah. so is it achievable? I think it is for him. If he really sacrifice everything else and just focus on the deadlift, you yeah. know. So. Yeah. And talking about deadlifts. Yeah. The second event on the list. Yes. A deadlift ladder. Yes. So we have five deadlifts in total, trip from ranging from three hundred to four hundred kg. Yeah. And obviously the quickest time to lift all mm -hmm. five wins. They did similar, like the same setup they did for the veterans and strongman games, yeah, wasn't strongman it? Games, yeah. Uh, so the, the the heaviest was three fifty, wasn't it, or three forty something, Some, something like that. Yeah. So and um, that was a good event. I think Pritchett won it, didn't he? Pritchett won it, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, just out. Uh, Big Z was very close, yeah. second or whatever. So it's a good event. Now it will be interesting to see can anyone try to deadlift four hundred without straps? No, I don't think that no, anyone believes that, that is a yeah. crazy talk. But I think it's just. Five lifts and 300 to 400 kg yeah. it's a lot of weight it's a lot of weight yeah that, and the worst thing is it's like it's not that the weight is staying the same and you're mm. doing five repetitions it's yeah obviously the, the, the people are as fast used, as you can that's yeah. obviously the athletes that are used to say they lift in <coughs> 350 you know like they were last year mm -hmm. 400 yeah. kg is a different there's a different animal like. yeah well, 400 is a lot of, especially like by 400, your 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 nervous system will will be always pretty uh, already pretty much fried, you know. Yeah. From coming up to 400, and it's it, I just that game that they're gonna play with the straps. That's the most I think yeah. that's gonna be the 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 interesting one, you know. You've had to deal with 400 kg before. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh, well, but, uh, but uh, 400 is fine, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, 400 is fine. Yeah, yeah. it's it's not a. Nowadays it's not a big. No, it's not. No, not anymore. No. Like, there's a hundred kg less than what the record is. Yeah, and like, there's so many guys now pulling four hundred and fifty kilos. It's mm. insane. Remember, so, there was how many guys pulled four hundred in the deadlift championship? Four fifty. Yeah, or four fifty. Sorry, how many? Five of them. Seven five, six, of them? six, six, six of them. Like, there's so many of them. But then again, like we're talking again about the suits. To me, that's. Uh, that's yeah. a hot topic. Yes, uh, we're not gonna get no, into that because into you're allowed to use the suits for this yeah. one. And yeah, I just want to see w how many guys will try to d deadlift. Maybe w w like three seventy. Will anyone attempt without straps? Yeah. You know, which uh, I think it's the bold uh, game. Yeah, it is a bold game. Yeah, but we'll see what what kind of strategy every yeah. every single athlete would. I wonder will lose. anyone? I say Heinle is probably the favorite. I'd say for the to win this one. I it? don't think that he is because to me at this point it, i think that the times will be very very close yeah you know and i think a lot of guys will pull 400 mm. and uh, i don't know who's favorite to this one i'll say marius you know oh well, well, didn't, didn't see that coming <laughs> yeah <laughs> well I'll, I'll favor marius and yeah. to win well most events you know? <laughs> well on to the next event i think marius is favorite to win yes the carry and drag carry and drag so yeah. it's a 40 meter 40 meter track mm -hmm. 120 kg anchor carry and a 20 meter chain drag yeah so a usual kind of in world strongest man before mm -hmm. probably in giant slave a couple of times mm -hmm. europe strongest man over the years kind of event I've, when was the last time this was uh, the drag yeah. or the, the drag uh, i think it was in europe wasn't it yeah like i don't know in in the in maybe it was in the worlds as well yeah 
Yeah, but it, it's a very deceivingly <laughs> hard <laughs> event. Like, you know, when we trained in, in the yard, me yeah. and Marius, it was like, we always were like um, surprised how tough of the event yeah. is, you know. It's very hard to recover. Especially you want to get sick. And 40 meters. Like, yeah, yeah, 40 meters. That's, uh, yeah. Uh, so it's uh, so the drag is twenty meters, isn't it? Yeah, drag is twenty meters. Yeah, the chain drag. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. yeah. So the forty meters is the run. So forty meters is still uh, uh, it's it's a law. Yeah. Like you have to go both ways, basically. You know. Yeah. So it's uh, it's it's not an easy event, and uh, especially the drag will take uh, a lot out of people. You know. Yeah. Well, I, I just think. Marius obviously a very good medley. Marius is 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 good at moving events. Yeah. You know he's, he's pretty fast. Yeah, pretty explosive. You know so well able to jump. Yeah. <laughs> so and there's other athletes who will be like Pat. I think Novikov is fast as well. Oh Novikov, yeah. Yeah, Schmachtelis is not too bad. Even Luke, like you know, like I don't know Pavel uh, Kardiaka. You know he's he doesn't seem like a fa- very heavy guy, so he yeah. might be able to move too. You know, so it's it's uh, of course we're gonna favor Marius for this one, but it's for all in all, it's, I think it's 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 a great event, you know. Especially, I, I love that kind of moving events, you know, yeah. just for a change. Yeah, just f- change from a static. Yeah, stuff stage there. to a static. Yeah. So, so on, t- on to the next event, which is an event that you probably don't favor that much. No, <laughs> and that is the power stairs. So, would you like to explain the power stairs to us? Yes, I don't know what kind of, if it's gonna be like in two thousand and twelve. Finals, Walter and Man finals, it's gonna be bad. <laughs> it's gonna be bad. It's gonna favor the tall athletes 100%. You know, and that's where, like, we tried to train, me and Myers, we tried to train with the same apparatus, the same yeah. setup, you know. Unfortunately, we don't have power stairs, yeah. which would be, uh, like, a big it's advantage cool. to have. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a crazy uh, implement. A crazy yeah, inv- yeah. Or implement to even store. If you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. The amount of space that yeah. requires is unbelievable. So. so I don't know what kind of um, the the weight they're gonna, what kind of shape weight they're gonna use. Yeah, I hope it's not gonna be like in two thousand and twelve because that one is just uh, awkward. <laughs> oh, like, look, to be honest, all I needed, like, I don't know, couple of, couple of inches <laughs> of height and maybe three more sessions. Like, I didn't even train the yeah, yeah. power stairs before that. And oh, uh, I guess I'm just like, look, excuses, are excuses. Like, you know, <laughs> so, uh, 10 years after the competition. <laughs> so, there's five weights, I believe. There's five weights to be lifted. Yeah, five weights, yeah. No, is it four is or it, five? It's three. Uh, five, no. I think it's three weights, 15 stairs. 15 stairs, it's five stairs, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so three weights. So, yeah. Three so, different weights, yeah. So, it's three. So it's three separate, di- three different weights. Yes. Uh, fifteen stairs total, so five yeah. stairs each. Yeah. Um, very, very taxing on the body. Very taxing on the body, and uh, it's 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 a hard event for someone who's uh, shorter. Uh, shorter, yeah. Yeah, shorter. Yeah, shorter. Yeah. <laughs> so these power stairs are really a bit of a nightmare. Yeah. Well, it's kind of you were always kind of the, the on the smaller side of the strongman scale, were you? I, I, well, yeah. There's just yeah, I'm all. Yeah, yeah. I'm the shortest. Like I remember, even in uh, one year there was a uh, Arnold Classic in Quebec. Oh wow! Yeah, and uh, I think tour one, uh, Jeff Caron was second. I was third, uh, and uh, believe me or not, there was a uh, power series in that <laughs> in that competition. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I lost my second oh, place. Oh no! Yeah, we oh. were on the same points after the first day with Thor, and then the the, the, the power stairs killed Thor me again. Was and I was like, he la- <laughs> It was so bad. Like <laughs> it's crazy. And then uh, uh, there was a, a funny thing as well. At the end, uh, we were standing on a on a podiums, you know. Yeah. And uh, I was so sure that the photographer couldn't see me. <laughs> They told the guy who was in front of me to move aside. <laughs> and Thor's like, oh, well, Alice is so short. I was like, yeah, I am. What, the f- what am I supposed to do? Yeah. Yeah, so Power Stairs is not uh, my forte or not my favorite, of yours. favorite event. Yeah. So after the Power Stairs, we are on to the fifth and final event, uh, which is always the case in Giant Slave, which yes. is the Atlas Stones. Yeah. So heavy, five in- heavy set. Heavy set, so it's five stones in total, ranging from 120 mm-hmm. to 200 kilograms. Mm-hmm. And again, 
Anyone can this win yeah. this one. It separates the top from the yeah. bottom, which sometimes we thought last year that on the lighter stones we thought that it was kind was, of it was it was you you can see that in Britain's they used the heavier set, didn't they? Yeah. But the times straight away were different. Yeah, completely different. Yeah, and uh, like um, uh, Andy Black, right? Last year he destroyed the yeah, light. Nineteen seconds. Yeah, seventeen. Seventeen seconds. Seventeen seconds. I think he just dunked them all, basically. You know. Yeah. And with two hundred, he wasn't. Yeah, he was nowhere near. Weight. Yeah, it's a lot. With two hundred and one eighty, and then on a higher platforms, it's like different kettle of fish altogether. You yeah. know, so so it's good to have that set. And uh, again, these times will slow down a good bit. Yeah, you know. So uh, all in all, five good events. I think it, it it's enough to determine who's the strongest guy in this specific competition yeah that's it who will be your strongest man yeah so top five prediction top five prediction give it marius lalas of course. <laughs> of course. no no obviously we've been seeing marius the way he's been training and i just think he's in very good shape he's in in a better shape than he was probably last year yeah, yeah. mentally and physically yeah you know? obviously that extra bit of time that you get yeah yeah but, that's a lot so i think marius first I will go with Alexi second. I will go with Luke Storm and third. I will go with. I will go with Janasia fourth and Schmauchelis in fifth. Schmauchelis, yeah. Schmauchelis in fifth. Mm -hmm. Good prediction. Good prediction. Thank you very Good much. Prediction. Good prediction to you too. So, so your prediction. My MVP. prediction, yes. So Marius number one. Mm. <laughs> Look, I'm biased. What can I do? You know. I can't say Myers is like fourth or fifth yeah. place. I'm he's not gonna give it. <laughs> no, it's just, it's just, I have faith in my brother. Yeah. You know, I have faith too. Yeah, so I think a lot of people. Like I said, the prep wasn't perfect, but I don't think that anyone's prep is perfect. ever perfect. Yeah. You know, it's just do the best on the yeah. day, and that's what matters. You can have the best prep ever, and then in the day, you, you something will go wrong, yeah. and you out of it. You know, so I'll have Myers uh, first. Yeah, so. Mm, Marius in first, I'll have uh, Luke in second, and I have Novikov in third. And then fourth place, I will probably have Janasia. And fifth place, I will give it to Shane Flowers. That's what I was looking at him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, it's on you guys. Yeah. What are your predictions? Now, so, like always... Oh, I sound really angry there, now. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> So those are our predictions for the 2022 Europe's Strongest Man. Uh, let us know your let us know your predictions down below. Obviously, having Marius in first place, uh, we don't see anyone's that aren't Marius in first place. <laughs> no, uh, like always, we always look at the predictions. Sometimes the predictions are very very good when we actually see them and we actually talk to yeah. them. Like whoa, that is like yeah, yeah. And some people actually have predicted some actual line. They know the end mm -hmm. lineups like, and it's it's mm -hmm. crazy that some people. Well, it's not that some people know other stuff. Like, there's so many good, say, strongman, say, knowledge. So much, yes, such strongman knowledge. Yeah, the, the sport is growing, and there's more and more people getting into the sport, and yeah. just just the fans, not necessarily like uh, training the sport. Like, you know what I mean? Just, but like, it's good to see that they they have a knowledge. They they know statistics now. There is a lot of websites is online where you yeah. can check uh what are the accomplishments of the athletes and all of uh, social media you can yeah. follow them and see their uh, sort of progression when it comes to getting ready for competition so it's yeah. it's all uh, it's all good it's all good but leave a comment down below of your predictions uh leave it might even just be a prediction it might just be just leave a comment yeah just leave a comment <laughs> just yeah. leave a comment so some, some 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 people do it some people just do for it for algorithm, algorithm. Yeah. as you all know we've what we hit four thousand subscribers yeah. two weeks ago yeah and it's it's crazy to think that we have four thousand subscribers mm -hmm. it's i know some people don't think it's a big number yeah. compared to other youtube channels obviously out yeah. there but like four thousand it's okay for us it's okay for yeah. us uh like always like the video uh, and most importantly subscribe mm -hmm. uh, some people like I was saying in the last couple of videos some people have been saying they've been DMing and saying that they haven't been getting notifications yeah. uh, like always once you subscribe hit the bell icon yeah. hit the bell icon you'll get up to date uh, notifications on the Lalas Brothers YouTube mm -hmm. channel uh, and I have to say that we've been seeing a lot of good views lately especially yeah. on the Half Door and Eddie fight yeah that was a, a lot of views to, uh, so I think everyone sort of appreciates our breakdown yeah those some people in the comment section they have a 
different opinions which is fine you know That's different yep. yeah but uh, all in all i think it was um, a great fight and we did a great job in yeah. breaking it down never know we could be <laughs> presenters on yeah. this, <laughs> you never know, know. <laughs> yeah so like we were saying throughout the video like comment subscribe we'll have our roundup video on sunday yeah uh and just stay tuned for the videos fingers crossed for marius <laughs>